Hey guys, so this one is going to be a little bit different. I, I need to tell you kind of the history behind this thing. This is a sculpture that was done of Dad's logo back in the mid 70s, mid to late 70s, I believe. He had a friend that he made up in Northern California. His name was Rand Orgel, and he was a, a very popular chainsaw carver at the time. You can see that this thing is really kind of gone bad. Uh, lost his arm, part of his hat, part of his scarf, um, uh, and a few other things. Obviously, we didn't take care of this thing. It's been sitting out, literally sitting out in the sun here in Arizona, and we brought it from us. We brought it with us from California back in. Uh, Dad moved out here in the early '90s, so it's been sitting in the sun pretty much the whole time. But he got the idea that, you know what, for what's left here, let's try to preserve this thing. Because this really is kind of a uh, iconic, yeah, kind of an iconic heirloom. And we want to try and preserve it. So um, anyway, we're, uh, we're finally going to kind of just put a finish on it and try and keep it for... Uh, for as long as we can before it completely falls apart. So I called Total Boat and asked, kind of told them what we wanted to do and asked them what was the best product to use. So we'll show you that here in just a few minutes. Yep. Once we get set up. Eric is going to set up then. Yeah, I'm the going to set up and uh, come back and we're going to, I've still got a little clean up to do, blow it off a little bit more, blowing it off some, but I still have a few places that I need to really air it and blow it off because it's really, this thing is really sandblasted. Anyway, so i got to clean it up a little bit more, but when we come back, we'll, uh, we'll get the critter gun out and we'll put a finish on this thing. So we've got a little wind coming up right now, guys. Hopefully it's not too bad. Um, hopefully the, the sound is coming through. So you can see this is the green 2.0. We like the gloss, but it comes in uh, other finishes as well. And this is what they, like Vicki said, this is what they recommend. So um, I didn't thin this stuff, although it says you can thin it 25 to 50 percent. But it seemed to spray pretty good. I did a test with it. Seemed to spray pretty good the way it is. So I'm just, I've got my uh, my compressor set at about 60 pounds. And uh, we'll just see how this, uh, how this sprays. I don't even know. I guess go from the top down. So all we're really trying to do is just get this thing so we can... We can keep it for a while and preserve it and keep it from, uh, from deteriorating any more than it already has. You can see that definitely darkens it up, but that's fine. I, that doesn't bother me. I'm going to put it out on the front patio once it's done. Oh, is that where we're going to have it? Yeah, I think so. Yeah. So this is uh, obviously going to be a very short video, but... It is something that we wanted to share with you guys. Again, I wish I had the forethought to get it before we lost a lot of his hat and his, his arm, arm, obviously. <laughs> but um, we had this at the shop in Manteca for decades. And then Dad brought it out to Arizona when he came out. Lost uh, the front part of the router base too. Okay, we got it. Oh, in the way? No, I just, I don't want it on the screen. Yeah. So, so that is, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and, and I'll probably let this dry set it up on the bench and I want to do the rest of the base down there as well. And we're going to end up putting I think four or five coats on. Maybe more. I don't know. Maybe to the point where it really gets a nice gloss to it. Right now it's kind of looks almost satiny. Okay. That is it. I wonder what this stuff is. That almost looks like glue or paint. I didn't even notice that before. I might, 
uh, chip that off before I put the next coat on. This stuff, by the way, says uh, at 80 degrees you can recoat in one hour. That means with our temperatures you can recoat in about 37 seconds. <laughs> no, just kidding. Anyway, um, so this stuff actually sprays really good, full strength, right out of the right out of the can. At least it is in my critter gun. So I don't know. You guys might want to try this uh, outdoor spore or marine varnish from uh, from Total Boat. This gleam is pretty good stuff. So anyway, hope this is helpful, guys. Again, the real quick video, but uh, so we're gonna come back after you've got about five coats. You know what? I think we will. That's a really good uh, a good point. I'll uh, I'll get about five more coats, four or five more coats on there, and we, when we come back, you'll see what it looks like when it's all done. So stick with us, guys. We'll be back. Hey, you guys. So it is uh, early morning. We are filming the final scene on uh, finishing Dad's Cowboy. Uh, again, um, we used the Glean 2.0 by Total Boat, and it worked great. Um, we're going to probably, uh, he's probably going to live out here on the porch. So we needed a good exterior finish. And uh, again, he's, uh, you know, well worn after about 50 years, but um, we're going to try and preserve it as much as we can. I've got six coats on here. I, I could put some more, but it's got a really nice gloss to it. I think it's sealed up pretty good. Uh, and I went all the way down to the bottom and all the way to the top of the hat. And uh, this is what the logo was made off of. Again, this was made back in the mid, I believe mid 70s. And um, I don't know what kind of wood it is, but uh, anyway, thought it was kind of fitting to, uh, to get him somewhat protected so he can last as long as possible. So he's gonna live out here on the porch with us. And uh, I guess that's about it. If you guys have any questions, thanks again to Total Boat that Gleam 2.0. Uh, I love the way the finish came out. And uh, if you guys have any questions, let me know. Eric at makeawoodsign.com. And we will uh, see you on the next video. Have a great one, guys. Bye-bye.